Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you a special report this week from the Science and Technology Policy Forum, hosted by the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences, or AAAS. This year's theme was focused on artificial intelligence. AI will transform society, so I checked it out to see how the public engages with AI. We need to avoid an AI divide in the country between those who know how to use the tech and those who don't. We need to expand participation to the global south in key conversations for more representative data and so large language models like ChatGPT can incorporate more diverse cultures and languages. AI can impact healthcare by monitoring animal health and predicting pandemics to prevent disease outbreaks. It can have better predictive climate models and can help communities plan for the future. But there is also a large environmental cost. Massive carbon emissions, water and land use, mining, and impacts on indigenous and rural communities. Human skills are going to be needed at every step. It is not enough to engage communities post-development or the harm will already be done. Community suggestions must be incorporated to build trust. A social scientist on every AI team integrated from the start can incorporate problem-solving methodology. And all AI must be science-backed, data-driven, and built for human interaction. Helicopter science swoops in, collects data from communities, and leaves without giving any of the benefits of this tech to the communities. This practice has to go. We need to acknowledge these past harms and improve data literacy through community training with assets and people on the ground. Communities need help understanding how AI affects them now through employment decision tools, deciding loan applications, and school admissions that harm those who fit outside of standard patterns like those with disabilities. We need to address disparities in technology and help people feel they belong in those spaces. People need to have ownership of their data and it needs to be secure. Stories are what hit home when it comes to technologies like AI. Science communicators, AI translators, and storytelling can engage communities, as well as improve understanding to give people more agency. Incentives need to be given for community participation and consent. Co-creation, as well as co-principal investigators from communities, can cede power back to communities and build trust. Trust is earned through transparency by improving education to understand how AI systems determine outputs to better assess reliability. AI needs more predictability, collaboration, openness, and recalibrating when wrong. Criticism is not anti-innovation. It's important for weigh-in so that AI works for everyone. The day ended with a lecture by Dr. Dario Gill, director of IBM Research, who explained ways we can educate and build together on a more concerted and sustained push for AI. We need all hands on deck to rebuild STEM education and the workforce, but we need more distributed talent and funding with many key players. Recruiting more low socioeconomic households and foreign-born scientists to study AI across the globe is necessary, alongside a new funding act to broaden the talent pool. One final question was posed. How does democracy help science, and how does it hurt science? Thanks so much for watching my special report out of the AAAS Science and Technology Policy Forum. We hope to see you next time.